Hey guys, so I wanted to read a, a little comment stream under my last uh, video and uh, where people are talking about their frustrations with frameworks. So under my uh, video, I think I streamed this yesterday, so many JavaScript frameworks, which one to choose? So let's scroll down. And here it is, here it is. So, um, Ross, the music and guitar teacher said, solid design principles are more important than what framework you choose. A UI framework is a detail according to Uncle Bob. This is something I've been teaching for a while. I would think that I would agree uh, with um, Uncle Bob's assertions uh, there. So let's just, let's just jump into this conversation. We'll see what's going on. Okay, so he goes, uh, so this next guy, A, whatever, whatever his username is here, but Ross, the guitar, that's fine, but aren't you sick of wasting time learning different broken, uh, shitty ways of doing the same thing, slightly different every six months? He's talking about frameworks. Frameworks are like that. A lot of times, as I've mentioned, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the, um, innovation in terms of especially the web stack and mobile it's all it's all been done years ago so there's not huge changes anymore like there used to be let's get back to it um so ross says i'm not in that boat because i focus on my fundamentals and sound design principles that's the key that's what i've been telling people for the longest time these frameworks should be used in the presentation layer and he's talking about JavaScript, and be easy to swap in and out of your system. And he continues, I learned a lot from, I learned from a lot of teachers that show me to recklessly sprinkle my business logic into my presentation layer. I got fed up with the complexity, so I went back to the drawing board and studied architectural patterns. So glad that I did. This point here, this sentence here is something, again, when we read that again, I learned from a lot of teachers uh, let me, let me, uh, I have to do this. Teachers, 20 year old people who have hardly any coding experience teaching. Anyway, it's one of my pet peeves in all honesty. Uh, who, who show me to regularly sprinkle business logic in my presentation, presentation layer. This is like a huge no, no. If you were to make an analogy, uh, a fighter's analogy, this would be like uh, doing that would be like going to a boxing match with your hands behind your back and looking this and looking the other way while fighting. That is like it's like a real bad mistake. I would fire somebody who did that. I would say you're you're not even you you can't you can't work here. Anyway, but a lot of courses they teach a lot of you know stuff that uh, should not be taught. And still, I am not an expert for records. So this guy Ross, the music teacher, he's. Uh, He's way ahead of the game relative to most people. So Mr. A2345193 says, um, I have two computer science degrees and 20 years of dev experience. I really hate the industry, though. Everything is about what's new and shiny. Then in six months, the bad ideas and badly thought through stuff emerges. Then it's thrown away. It's hard to avoid believing that none of these trendy frameworks were actually worth learning. Yeah, I agree. A lot of crazy ideas. You know, people, young people just get into things. They tend to go to extremes. They tend to think that if uh, somebody is going a serverless architecture, everything has to be microservices. So they introduce the idea of a microservice. Then they go, we're all microservice now. You know, everything in, in, in its right place and everything in nuance. But again, it comes with experience, comes with experience. So we'll go back. Uh, so Ross, the music teacher, says, I'm not invested in the framework so much. I enjoy Flutter, though. Yeah, so he concurs. Okay, so let me just read this. So this experienced dev, 20 years experience. I've wasted thousands of hours forcing myself to learn countless different ways to do the same thing. I've been there too myself, by the way, guys. 
I've had to spend six months learning something like Chinese or ballet or physics, however difficult and new to me they are, they would have lasting value and most likely open my mind, open my mind to new things. This is just churn for the hell of it. It is effectively a brain tax because after having to spend, have to, excuse me, after having to speed learn for the job so much, I'm stressed and exhausted, and so I don't feel like learning anything else after work. Continues, it sounds rough, man. I don't know what to say, but it does sound like you need another hobby for the sake of variety, perhaps music. Uh, Ross, the music teacher, continues, do you ever suggest your way of doing things to your boss? Do they pay you for learning time? Maybe you just need a better boss or set of clients. So let me just end off this uh, little recording here. Again, this is illustrates something I've been tr talking about, suggesting for a long time now, that the shiny new framework, uh, the shiny new language, that people are telling you how great it is. I'm telling you guys, most of the time, like 99% of the time, it's not going to have much of an impact on anything. Once you have a technology, whether it be a language or a framework, once they've reached a certain level, uh, the level that you see Java has attained, JavaScript has attained, um, PHP has attained, Python has attained, not Ruby has attained. Um, I'm just joking about Ruby. Anyway, once languages and technologies, React, uh, you know, uh, Express, um, Laravel, uh, Django, it's very hard to supplant them these days because unless there is a total change in the paradigm, in the paradigm rather, you're not going to see these languages or, or these technologies replaced anytime soon. I mentioned COBOL as an example. Look at COBOL. Look at C. Look at C++. Look at uh, Java. Look at you know JavaScript. These languages, these technologies, 20 years, 30 years, some cases 40, 50 years. Why they are not changed? Because they're just, the new stuff is really not that much better. And, and a lot of times you're trading a slight advantage here, you know, for a, uh, an exchange for and a disadvantage there, or vice versa. So you may go from uh, framework A to framework B, where framework A does job A really well, does it better than framework B. Um, but then you go to framework B, and it's the opposite. Okay, it doesn't do job A as well, but it does job B much better. So you're like, hmm, did I really gain any true advantage by learning this new technology? Most of the time, the answer is no. That's why I focus on fundamentals, because the fundamentals, good tr coding practices, stuff that you learn over time with you know, 5, 10, 20 years of experience, that is far more important than the latest framework. If your goal is to become a great coder, be able to write better code, faster code, and have less headaches writing code, if you learn good, best coding practices and you implement that in the code that you write, stuff I talk about, your code will be just a lot easier to to write and to debug and as such your life as a coder will be much more pleasant uh, you're going to make more money and you're going to rise up faster people will appreciate that uh, where if you spend your time trying to learn every new language or framework you're going to find yourself um, not getting anywhere it's an old story it happened to me in my martial arts days when i was i think it was 18 or 19 years old i had been training martial arts since i was 10 and I had did two years of judo and two years of karate and two years of taekwondo, et cetera, et cetera. So there was a point where I was training like six six days a week. And I would do two days a week at East School. I did two days at uh, Catch Campbell, two days at Wing Chun, two days at uh, wrestling. And then I would switch it up. And one of my teachers came to me and said, you know, Steph, you have a lot of experience. You have a lot of knowledge, but you're still an intermediate level dude. And he said, the reason you're an intermediate level fighter, you're not an expert fighter, which you should be by now, your skill level has not evolved because you haven't concentrated on a particular system or style or method of fighting. And he said, so he, he suggested to me, he said, pick a style, whatever one, 
and take it to the high level. And what, what, what that will do, he said, is going to raise your game across all martial arts. doesn't matter. So I didn't quite understand it at the time, but I, I figured this guy is a, you know, he's a great fighter, a lot, won a lot of fights and competitions, so I figured he knew what he was doing. So I listened to him. So I, I picked the style, and I took it to black belt level. And he was right. What happened is when I hit that level of depth of knowledge in that one style, um, I became much more advanced in all the styles. My game, if you will, increased tremendously across all the different styles. Same thing with software development and programming. You, you pick a stack, you pick one or two languages you work on, because I, I think it's kind of cool to kind of learn more about programming in general by comp comparing and contrasting a couple languages. But don't go crazy in all these different frameworks. Don't go crazy in all these different uh, uh, languages out there. And you just start working. That's why I suggest, that's why the studio web, my, my curriculum is set up in a, specifically in that way. I teach key basics. You learn HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, programming language number one, PHP, programming language number two, SQL, database language. And then if you want, you can take the Python. You do those courses, and there's a whole, there's hundreds of videos. There's, there's all kinds of stuff covered. I don't want mean to make it a commercial, but the point is, after you do that, uh, then you go out there and you start doing real world projects. You got to take that leap. You got to get out of, off the training wheels and into the game for real. And that's why in one of my seven laws of code, you got to learn on a need to nerd basis. Any experienced developer will tell you that. Uh, coding is much more about problem solving, applying good basics, good principles to problem solving. You implement a framework or a language based on the needs of that particular job, which I've discussed. Anyway, I hope this video is useful for you guys. We will, we will talk uh, soon. Bye-bye.